the U.S. Marines need these five weapons to crush North Korea in a war. In the event of a conflict on the Korean Peninsula, U.S. and South Korean forces will root and destroy the regime of Kim Jong-un. The need to properly secure the country's weapons of mass destruction will necessitate an invasion of North Korea, much of which will come by sea. Leading the way will be the U.S. Marine Corps USMC. Here are five USMC weapon systems necessary in Korean War II. One amphibious assault vehicle. Any seaborne landing by the Marine infantry will involve amphibious assault vehicles. Ods. First introduced in the early 1970s, Ods carry up to 21 Marine infantry and their equipment. Their amphibious nature means they can float out of the well deck of a U.S. Navy ship such as WASP class assault ships, swim to shore on their own power, and disgorge troops on the beachhead. Alternately, it can use its tracks to transport infantry farther inland. Dodds are capable of traveling up to 8 miles an hour in the water and up to 45 miles an hour on land. They are lightly armed, typically carrying both a 40 mm grenade launcher .50 caliber machine gun. Odds are lightly armored, at best capable of repelling 14. 5 mm machine gun fire artillery shrapnel. This, combined with their large troop carrying capacity makes them vulnerable on the modern battlefield. Dot 2, MV-22 Osprey. Dot dot modern amphibious assaults move Marines as much by air as by sea. Aircraft can move faster and farther than OVS and landing craft, even landing miles away from the nearest beachhead. This vastly increases the amount of terrain enemy forces must actively defend. Dot AMV-22 Osprey Tiltrotter aircraft can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, rotate its engine nacelles 90 degrees forward, and fly like a conventional aircraft. This gives it the best advantages of both types of aircraft, all the while carrying up to 24 combat-ready marines, support weapons, supplies or vehicles. The Osprey has a top speed of 277 miles an hour, making it a third faster than helicopters in its weight class. It has range of up to 500 miles, or much more with mid-air refueling. Dot dot in a North Korea scenario a marine air assault force led by MV-22s would land a force miles from the enemy beachhead, presenting the enemy commander with the dilemma of which landing to respond to. After securing the beachhead MV-22s could lead the way, leapfrogging from one landing zone to another. The enemy not knowing if it intends to land 5 or 500 miles away. Dot dot 3, CH-53E Super Stallion. Dot until an amphibious invasion force seizes an airfield or port, reinforcements and supplies will have to come in via helicopter. While the MV-22 Osprey can transport infantry, it's limited in the size and weight of the cargo it can carry. Dot dot the CH-53E Super Stallion. The largest helicopter in U.S. military service is capable of carrying a 16-ton load, 55 Marines or any combination thereof. The helicopter has a typical range of 500 miles, but heavy loads cut that down considerably. Fortunately it has a mid-air refueling probe, giving it almost unlimited range. Dot dot the USMC uses super stallions to haul heavy equipment, particularly artillery and LAV-25 light armored vehicles from US Navy ships at sea to a secure airhead. The helicopter is also used to move casualties off the battlefield to medical facilities on Navy ships. Dot dot 4, LAV-25. Dot the light armored vehicle, or LAV-25 is of 8x8 armored vehicle that mounts a 25mm M242 Bushmaster cannon. The vehicle can carry up to four scouts to conduct armed reconnaissance missions. The LAV-25 is unique in being capable of landing by sea via LCAC hovercraft. Under its own power via water jet propulsion, or by CH-53 heavy lift helicopter. LAVs are assigned to USMC armored reconnaissance battalions and variants include anti-tank, command, and control, mortar, logistics carrier and recovery versions. The LAV-25's combination of firepower and portability makes it dangerous foe for those opposing an amphibious invasion. The LAV-25 can arrive by sea or air, and once on location it can quickly roll out to perform armed reconnaissance missions.
LAV 25s were recently upgraded to the standard which included LAV 25A2 included improved armor protection, improved suspension, a new fire suppression system, and a new thermal imaging system for the commander and gunner. Dot 5, High Mobility Armored Rocket System HIMARS. The acquisition of the HIMARS rocket system in the mid 2000s gave Marine artillery a big boost. HIMARS takes the proven 227mm rocket system from the U.S. Army's tracked MLRS system and puts it on a 5 ton truck, providing a firing platform for up to six rockets or one jumbo sized ATACMS rocket at a time. Dot dot HIMARS can be quickly moved ashore via landing craft air cushion hovercraft, and within minutes, can carry out precision fire missions to ranges of up to 43 miles. The Gimler, or Guided Multiple Launch System, Unitary GMLSU GPS Guided Rocket allows HIMARS to engage targets with first round precision. Recently, the Marines experimented with chaining HIMARS trucks to the fly deck of amphibious assault ships, providing invasion troops with their own long-range, extremely precise naval artillery support. Dot.